so what's up everybody so this is actually gonna be my first video at night um so i'm just gonna show the lights on the car real quick my appointment is for tomorrow to get the lcm recall done where they bypass the lcm completely so i might as well just take that damn unit out but uh i'll read more into it and i'll show what it is and i'll do a video on it and stuff like that um other people know what that is but for those that don't and they're uneducated it's not a big deal that's why people like me are here so that you can see what's going on stuff like that so anyway i just wanted to show the lights around the car um on the tail lights turn signals the trunk i mean the uh, license plate the the new headlights and all that stuff so i don't have led headlight bulbs so they do look weird compared to everything else being led they're yellow so it kind of it kind of screws it up a little bit where it looks kind of goofy but anyways i just wanted to make this video kind of quick so that way i can get it while the stuff is working like i said tomorrow is tuesday i'm getting the lcm recall done so i wanted to do this before that and i did get the striker installed and the door does shut like it's supposed to so but all i had to do to get the lcm to start working because i kept sitting there with the new headlight switch and i kept sitting there going back and forth back and forth sometimes if you do it enough it'll kick on but i couldn't get the lights to work so i had to get under there and tap the lcm with a with a ratchet because uh, i took the batteries off i took the battery cable off to see if that would help but it didn't so i went ahead and used the ratchet and undid the battery tried to do that didn't work i think i just repeated the same thing twice but anyway if i did i did but anyway um so like i said i'm just showing this to show everybody what my stuff looks like um there's the license plate light or the tag light the tail lights i don't have anything done to the turn signals underneath the tail lights i don't have anything done to um the interior lights are the only thing that i've touched other than that um but i'll turn the turn signals on in a second but yeah you can see that's the the new led that i put on there that's actually a backup light that's what i have in the tahoe that's what i have in this car that's what i have in my fusion or my fiance's fusion which we just got the windows tinted on um i'm actually getting the windows done on the on the truck um but i'll talk about that in a minute but this the low beams that's the turn signals in the center that's the running lights on the outside because i wasn't going to put the normal little bulbs back in the side because i figured that's that's kind of stupid so <clears throat> but i'm going ahead and just showing just in case anybody wants to see and these are extremely bright these turn signals are like you can see how bright they are but like if i go and turn the running lights off which they probably won't work again if i turn them back off but like you can see how bright those are just by themselves it's ridiculous and like i said before uh these turn signal bulbs from blast fit they don't seem to like to blink for too long because once you start to let them blink for more than a minute minute and a half they start to mess up and they start blinking out of sync with each other and they start to kind of flicker a little bit so i think that's just because they get too hot i really don't know but yeah you can see how how bright these are and yeah they they obviously don't stay lit like that they don't stay orange when you have the running lights on everybody knows the iconic look of the crown vicks with the running lights on mine does obviously a little bit different the only thing i also don't like is these turn signal bulbs that i have the switchbacks are not as bright as these bulbs on the outside so it looks kind of stupid uh it it looks a lot worse in person than it does on camera you may say oh well it looks bright on person and camera no this is a whole lot brighter which you can tell that just by looking at the two but um but yeah that's i just figured i'd show that real quick uh and then the tail lights the tag light like i've already showed so um i'm not going to do a whole lot more on this car um i said i'd make a video about it in my last one where i showed all the parts i ordered and i replaced the headlights and the turn signals and all that so that way it helps it looks better on me because if you're not going to do that kind of stuff do that little bit of work to make it at least look good where you can see where you're going then i mean come on now because i mean i wouldn't want to buy a car from somebody that does that because if you if you go and you take care of the wrong things it just shows where your head is and it's not because the wheels don't add any functionality to the car they just look good but having new headlights where i can actually see where i'm going because right now if i turn the headlights back on because i didn't say this if i turn the headlights back on i can actually see where in the hell i'm going like that's a lot more light than i had before and then like when i hit the high beams 
yeah i'm actually i can see where i'm going stuff like that so but if you if you go in and worry about just how a car looks then that's not really what you need to be doing you need to worry about its functionality at first then you can worry about how it looks if the functionality and the looks are fixed at the same time then hey that's even better but don't go and just put wheels on it like this and then go and say all right well now i'm gonna go get the windows tinted i'm gonna go put a system in it i'm gonna go you know put exhaust on it and then say all right now i'm gonna go and uh fix the oil leaks i'm gonna go and fix the exhaust that's leaking i'm gonna go and fix the window that don't go up i ain't gonna go and put new headlights in it so i can see where i'm going i ain't gonna fix that busted tail light you need to fix stuff that for one will get you a ticket and two stuff that if somebody wants to go buy this vehicle from you they're gonna want to say something about it they're gonna be like well why'd you worry about all this other stuff instead of and i'm fixing this because i noticed it was on they're gonna say why'd you know why'd you worry about all this other stuff instead of worrying about the stuff it actually needed so i'm just figuring i'd go ahead and show the car off a little bit and that's just me going off on a rant but because people go and spend money on the wrong shit or on tax time and then they wonder why they can't get the car fixed because they ain't got no money left because they go and spend it on shit that the car don't need or the truck or whatever i mean yeah i've done it that's why i make that's why i'm saying this because i know but i've learned from that so the truck hasn't let me down yet i've done stuff to it and i ain't had no issues out of it i have had one issue but it fixed itself but i'll talk about that in another video but um i'm actually make two videos tonight while i'm thinking about it because i didn't think about it earlier today but there you go so hope this helps hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you later